mind you, yeah, like everybody's like it's boot camp for you right now, boot camp. Mm-hmm. So I'm, but I need that, so I'm ready for it. I know it's gonna be hard, but I'm ready for it. Tell me vision, I got it. Rich man, it's a North Cap thing. How we like this? We tip bottles for the homies that can't be here. Hey YouTube, welcome back. You got the first emperor or the second emperor in your view. So what's yes. good? Who we got right here? Where are we right now? What's up? My name is Maya Bay. We in East Oakland, California, right now. I'm way down. Mark out next up, Dizzler. You already know. Yep. All right. Let's get into the journey. How you start? Cause she, you've been rapping for how long? I've probably been rapping for about a year now and some change. It's been a year and some months, seriously, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. And so your name is pronounced Maya Bay, right? I'll yeah. You want to say it. Where'd that name come from? Please? So, my name is Maya, and that's how my name is spelled, like, the original way it's spelled. Mm-hmm. And I just kept it as that because, you know, you don't really see that. A lot of times, like, when I was growing up in school, like, my freaking substitute teachers would call me like Mariah or like just oh. random ass names. I'm like, that is not my name. Like, So I just thought, you know, like I'm going to keep it. It's original and it's cute. So I just left it. And then I just added the bay because like, I don't know, like bay, like, like, you know, like my bay, like it's just some cute. And honestly, like I, I had changed before I even started rapping. I changed my Instagram name to that because it was like, at first it was just like Maya with heck of H's. And then I just, like, I'm not going to lie, like, one of my brothers, my brother's a little older than me, and since I've been younger, like, I'd be following his friends on Instagram, and it was this girl, like, her Instagram name was Maya Babe, and I was like, ooh, I want to be Maya Babe. And so I just took that, and then when I start rapping, I'm like, okay, this is going to be my rap name. So, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then, what was it, so, did you grow up in this specific home your whole life, or did you kind of move around over there? So, no, I grew up, when I, when... Okay, when I, the first, you just hang that up if you want. Hang it up? Yeah. Oh. Just pick it up and just, and just, my bad. And then just put it back? Don't just press it. <laughs> okay, there it go. So, uh, I grew up on 9-8, like down the hill, like where the Coliseum at, like literally. It's like these little apartments and it's like these um billboards right next to it. If you're watching this interview from the east, you probably know what I'm talking about. I grew up right there in them townhouses. And then when I was in fourth grade, nah, I, like, when I was a baby, I lived there. And I remember, like, living in another house in San Leandro. And it was just me, my mom, and my brother. And then, um, I don't know how long we lived there. I was really young. But, you know, like, when you're young, you got some little memories. And then when I was in fourth grade, I moved here. We moved to this house. So I've just been living here ever since. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're announcing the dubs, right? Yeah, we in the dubs right country. now. Okay. And... Yeah. What, what, high school, what high school you went to? I went to Oakland Tech. I went to for high school, ninth through th- uh, 12th grade. And then for middle school, I went to Monterra. That's in, up in the Oakland Hills. Mm-hmm. And then when I was in elementary school, I went to a couple different elementary schools. I went to Grass Valley for one week. And I was playing on the monkey bars. And I uh, fell and busted my lip and my knee. And they did not call my mom. And so, like, my mom picked me up from school, and she was like, oh, hell no, I'm taking you out to the school. And so then I went to uh, St. Elizabeth. That's over there, like, in the Fruitvale area. It's a couple blocks away. It's all the Mexicans go there. I went to school, all the Mexicans. And then I went there till second grade. And then in second grade, I went to Thornhill, and that's, like, um, in the Piedmont area. Like, not even Piedmont, like. Montclair, like you know what I'm talking about? No, nah. Montclair is like this little white people area in um. In the hills. Not kind of like it's getting up there. It's like that on your way to the hills, like you know. Okay. And so I went there, and that's why like people be saying you know I kind of sound like a white girl and stuff because like you know like that's where I grew up. So. Yeah. Them all the schools I went to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, what was your experience? Yeah, your side growing up in. East Oakland. So honestly, I didn't really like used to be outside a lot. My parents didn't used to let me do anything. <laughs> like they would try to keep me locked up in the house. I would be arguing with them. I and I didn't really start wanting to go outside until like like middle school or so. When I lived on nine eight, I used to play outside, like in front of the house, you know. But I would never go out of the cul de sac. Like just, just oh, yeah. I'm staying here, and like we, my mom would like buy me the little inflatable pools. I would have my pool in front of the house. Like I had a Barbie car. Like I was beat. Like oh, so, yeah. I just 
you know, in the house. And then in middle school, I just, like, I went to Montero. You know, Montero was hyphy. We was turned up. They used to tell us it was the worst class. So, Dang. like, I always just wanted to go outside. All my friends used to be able to ride the bus. And I just could not ride the bus with them. Like, they was like, oh, can I please? Like, I used to beg to ride the bus. Like, can I please ride the bus with my friends? Like, and they used to be like, no. Like, I used to ask to go to parties. They used to do all these different kind of parties, like five-star parties. Like, my mom would say yes, but my dad would be like, no. And, you know, like, it would be like, no argument. Like, no. Like, I can't go. So, but then when I got into high school, that's when I started wowing for real. Like, I just, no. I'm not even going to say when I got to high school. When I got my car in high school when I was in 10th grade, then it was like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm out here. Like, I got my own car. I'm going to go wherever I want. What's up? Where, where the turn up at? So, I, like, now, I don't want to say, like, for the past one, two years, like, I've really been outside and, like, learning the way things actually, because I'm from Oakland, you know, but mm -hmm. I never really just was outside with it, like, you know, mm -hmm. but it, the culture's still in me, still me, so. Yeah, okay, okay. Were, were you a troublemaker growing up or not really? Uh, I didn't know. I never used to be in trouble. Like, in school, mm -hmm. all my teachers loved me, like. I really only had one teacher I used to get into it with, and that was, like, um, when I was in middle school, my eighth grade teacher, Ms. Volkman, she used to teach English, like, we did not used to get along, like, me and her used to be really going at it, like, for real, but other than that, um, my teachers, they normally love me, like, I get along with all authority figures, because I have respect, you know, my mom, mm -hmm. she really taught me that, like, I know how to talk to adults and other people. Like, I know how to code switch. I know how to be turnt when it's time to be turnt. And I know how to get business done when it's time yeah. to get business done. So, that's that's the major thing. I never really used to get in trouble, though, now. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Maybe, like, with my parents for, like, having a smart mouth or something or a little attitude. But, like, nah. Chilling with a vibe somewhere with my feet up and she's speaking on my name, bitch. Mad that she can't keep up. But I can't stress that new whip, yeah, I might wreck that. Been working on myself, broken record, had to check that. Damn, I miss it thinking about when we was kids. All that violence in my heart, thinking about the shit.